Are you one of those people that hate, fear, or are just creeped out by rats? If you said yes, you're part of 88.4% of US residents that feel that way. In today's video, we'll be exploring the cities in the United States that are known for having the highest population of rats. Rats aren't exclusive to cities. Sometimes farms have tons of rats that just live off whatever's growing at the farm. I saw one situation in Australia where this farm was just overrun to where people had to abandon it. Haven't seen anything that bad here in the US, but that was pretty alarming. Anyway, those pesky rodents in cities, they thrive. They cause havoc for residents and businesses. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the cities with the most rats, and I'll share some stories that I found about rat infestations in these cities. There is no actual way to count rats, so we're relying on the numbers given by the US government and the opinion of a few national exterminator companies. So whether you're a city dweller looking to stay informed or just curious about the critters running around our streets, sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of urban rats. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Denver, Colorado. You know, I've never thought of Denver's being a rat infested place, but according to the experts, they got quite a lot of rats. I've been to Denver quite a few times and I've been downtown and I've been to not the best places of Denver. It's not like I was staying at the really nice hotels every time I went there. I've never seen a rat. While I was doing research for this, I caught a news clip from a local Denver station and they were talking about an apartment complex that houses many lower income and immigrant people. They're asking for help because they say the managers of this apartment building haven't done enough to get rid of the rats, roaches, mice, and mold. One lady got a couple of those electric traps for rats and put them in her kitchen she caught 20 in 24 hours and she showed them all it was kind of gross now this whole list isn't going by any particular number it's just what's considered to have the most rats what the experts think so when i tell you about the increased in infestation calls they're not going in order that's just something different anyway denver saw 54.1 percent increase in rat infestation in 2022 making it the fastest growing city for rats on the list Number nine, Baltimore. Baltimore has a lot of rats, and we're not even getting into the kind that go in the witness protection program. Baltimore has a lot of rundown inner city neighborhoods, and you know it's gonna have some rats. As a matter of fact, exterminator is one of the most overworked jobs in the city of Baltimore. In 2019, a rat infestation at a Baltimore City Hall office made national headlines after a local news station aired footage of rats running through the office. The incident sparked concerns about the city's rat problem and prompted city officials to take action to address the issue. That was in 2019, and they've done some things, but really not enough, because Baltimore saw a 7.7% increase in rat infestations in 2022. It is still one of the most rat infested cities in the country. Number eight, Cleveland, Ohio. If you've ever spent any time in Cleveland, this one's not surprising you at all. I mean, if you're surprised, you're probably just surprised it's not in the top five. While I was researching this, I found an interesting story about a rat infestation in Cleveland. Charlie Chuck Thomas was a widower living in Cleveland in 1981 when the police were called to do a health and welfare check on Chuck. Neighbors had seen Chuck, but they also saw a ton of rats all over his property and they'd been dealing with some rat issues in their own homes. They figured Chuck's place was the source of the problem. As the police arrived, they witnessed rats on the porch and in the windows of Chuck's house. They knocked on the door, Chuck answered, and they could see dozens of rats inside the home. They removed Chuck from the home and called social services. During the investigation, they learned that it started with a couple rats that Chuck had been feeding. Three or four years later, it grew out of control to the point where Chuck was sleeping in a hammock because they walked on him at night. The exterminators said that there was close to 100 rats on Chuck's property alone. Side note to that, Chuck lived out his years in South Carolina with his kids. Cleveland, Ohio saw a 22.8% increase in rat infestations in 2022. Number seven, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia has some really nasty places, and if you've never been to a big city, you may not know this, but the nastier the area, the neighborhood, whatever, the more rats you're gonna have. And trust me, Philadelphia has some really nasty areas. Kensington's just one of them. You gotta watch out for those Kensington rats. They're probably on drugs too. Why not? Everyone else there is. But Philadelphia is a major city, and major cities are going to have rats. I don't care where you are. I don't care who runs the city. They're going to have a lot of rats. 
Pirates. Philadelphia has their share and a couple other cities share though. They've had several programs in recent years to try and knock down the rat infestations and they've seen some progress, but they still have a lot of work to do. Now, their increase in rat activity hasn't been that bad. They only saw it grow by 2.2% in 2022. They still got more rats than most other cities. Number six, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan has so many abandoned buildings, vacant lots, and run-down neighborhoods, the smart money says they got far too many rats. Detroit's been on a downward slide for quite a few decades now. Not only do they have vacant lots and vacant homes, but they have complete warehouses and factories that have been vacant for decades. Anything that's vacant in a city has rats. Rats just don't stay in those vacant buildings either. They spread out to the neighborhoods and start eating your car tires. Yeah, I saw a thing that if there's nothing to eat, rats will sometimes eat the tires. Detroit saw a 7.5% increase in rat infestations in 2022. Number five, San Francisco, California. In 2018, a group of tenants in a San Francisco apartment building filed a lawsuit against their landlord. They alleged that the building was infested with rats and that the landlord had failed to take adequate measures to address the problem. The lawsuit highlighted the challenges that San Francisco faces in controlling the rat population, which are often fueled by the city's high density and abundance of food waste. San Francisco saw a 5.5% increase in rat infestation in 2022. Number four, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. has had rat problems since forever, and that has nothing to do with politicians. When I brought up the snake video, I don't know how many people just thought they were so clever. How come Washington, D.C. isn't here? They got tons of snakes. Oddly enough, I know they're talking about politicians, but Washington, D.C. one time was a swamp before they built a city there. In 2019, a woman was bitten by a rat while waiting for a bus in downtown Washington, D.C. The incident made all the news, and it prompted concerns about the city's rat problem and calls for an increased pest control measures. I don't think they're working because here we are in 2023 and they're still increasing in the rat infestations. In 2022, they saw a 5.2% increase in rat infestations. Number three, New York City, New York. This place is kind of legendary for its rat activity. I mean, all the way back to the 1950s, even the 40s, you heard stories. Then in the 70s, there was always news reports about the rats, the 80s, and people get their cameras out and start filming rats running wild in some closed down restaurant. And then in 2017, a video surfaced on social media showing a large rat dragging a slice of pizza down a set of subway stairs. That was a little disturbing. It wasn't even afraid of the people It had a piece of pizza. It was on his way to wherever he goes. The video became an instant sensation with many New Yorkers jokingly referring to the rat as the pizza rat. The incident highlighted the prevalence of rats in New York City once again and the challenges the city faces in controlling their populations. I just read today that New York City appointed its first or its newest rat czar. Yes, they have a person who's leading a task force to get rid of rats. It's a government position. Now, rats are everywhere in New York City, but in 2022, they had a 10% decrease in rat sightings and infestations compared to 2021. So they're moving in the right direction. They just still have a ton of rats. Number two, Los Angeles, California. I've seen the rats in Los Angeles firsthand, uh, not just downtown where the bad neighborhoods are. I lived in a decent neighborhood right by the ocean and we called them wharf rats. I don't know if they're really wharf rats or what, but there was this certain type of rat that hung out near the beaches and near the harbor and all that. We'd see those all the time. Sometimes they get pretty big too, like a small chihuahua with really short legs. I one time saw one looking in like the glass door of a restaurant, had its hands on the glass door or like it was looking in, trying to pick something out. <laughs> It was like midnight and the place had been closed for hours. We were coming back from a bar. We couldn't believe it. We were like, what is going on here? It looks like he's getting ready to pick something out. Like he's looking at donuts. But if you do go downtown LA, like especially areas like Skid Row and places like that, you'll see a ton of rats and it's pretty nasty. Los Angeles's rat infestation calls went up 11.2% in 2022. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link down below in the description area for that. We're trying to build that channel. We've made some changes and we give all the profits from that channel back to schools. So help out schools. Watch some videos and subscribe, please. All right, on to number one. 
And number one, Chicago, Illinois. I gotta admit, I was a little surprised about this one. I've been to Chicago, mostly in the good area, so I'm sure I have a little bit of a different view than the reality, but in the areas I've been to, never seen any type of rat, and it always seemed pretty clean. Now, Southside Chicago is a different story, but I usually stay around the loop and stuff when I go and visit. I've been to Cicero, too, which isn't the greatest neighborhood. I didn't really see any rats there that I can remember. Logan Square, Lincoln Park. But according to the experts, Chicago has a bunch of rats and a bunch of human on human violence, too. But we all know that. In 2016, a video went viral showing a group of rats running around a Chicago subway car during rush hour. The video sparked outrage and raised concerns about the city's rat problem. The Chicago Transit Authority said that it would be working to address the issue and had increased its pest control efforts. That was in 2016. Here we are in 2023 and they're not doing great. Matter of fact, in 2022, their rat infestations increased by 7.4%. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, do something good with your day, and be nice to everyone.